What's up everybody? It is Wick here and I am out sourcing today. Today is Valentine's Day. No idea when this video will actually become live, but it is Valentine's Day and I'm doing what any lonely reseller would do, go sourcing. Um, so I'm at a Goodwill and um, yesterday I dropped off a shipment for FBA and stopped at a couple places and got some stuff. It's still in the car. I didn't take it out yesterday. So I will show you that at the end. But out of that Goodwill, I did alright. Um, I got a this engine book. It was 99 cents. Uh, sell it for about 21 bucks on Amazon. Good rank. And I got these Brita filters. They were $2.99. And um, you know, I'll make five bucks after I get my three dollars back, make five bucks. The rank's like three, they're an instant sell. So why wouldn't I pick them up? And then below this Daewoo DVD recorder, uh, more books from yesterday I picked up at a Goodwill. Show those later. And um, yeah, I've been talking to the guy that put stuff out here. You know, just small talk here and there. And he pulled this out. It didn't have a price on it. And um, it's a Daewoo DVD recorder. He pull, also pulled out a Toshiba just plain DVD player. It was $14.99, and I said, there's no price on this. And he said, well, it should be the same price as that, that other one, but I'll go get a price on it. So he went back there, and I don't know if he priced it or he got someone to price it, but they priced it $9.99, so pretty good buy there. Um, and he told me, he's like, you know, I, I open these and see if they open. I was like, they won't give me a TV to fully test them. He said, I would. And I'm like, yeah, I get it. You know, as long as you guys are offer returns, there's no problem. But this isn't like a high-end DVD recorder, but for $10, it's worth picking up. Probably sell it on eBay. I don't think Amazon was, the rank was too high. But, you know, I'll get about 50 bucks for this, plus shipping on top. So, um, yeah, not bad. I noticed the remote someone had listed for $24.99. Don't know if it'll ever sell, the remote would sell for that, but um, even if the DVD player don't work, I could almost double my money on the remote if that is the case. But, yeah, I stopped at Salvation Army first today. It's half off day. And I just did not... It wasn't open. <laughs> Everything was dark. And they changed their hours. They open at 10 a.m. now. Which really sucks for me. Because that's the first place I go. And that just sets me back basically an hour. Um, so, yeah. Um, it is almost 10. So I'm going to go hopefully grab some stuff. It's going to be crowded um, right at 10 o'clock on half off day. But let's go try and make some money i literally pulled in the salvation army here at exactly 10 a.m when it was supposed to open um went in there everybody was already in there and um yeah this is some people had some good stuff in their hands so um yeah if you're not in there right away you're not going to get anything and it's like a sealed handheld game and some nice looking baseball bats and you know unfortunately when you got that much competition there's not like there's there's resellers in there but there's a lot of just you know grandmas buying stuff for their grandkids too so you gotta compete with all that but yeah i'm gonna go hit my goodwill and thrift route about seven or eight places um maybe even stop at some home depots and hopefully make some money so i was just thinking uh like the week i think the last time i was at half off day at salvation army is when I picked up the top loading NES and the, the rare game, the other NES game. And it was like an hour after the store opened and that was still sitting there. So um, <laughs> it's just it's just so random what people buy and look for. Like I can't believe that nobody picked up a top loading NES with that many people going through there and just sitting there for an hour unless they just put that out. But I haven't noticed them putting stuff out very often, if any, when they actually, on half off day, or I don't know when they put stuff out. I never see them putting stuff out at Salvation Army, so I don't know. But uh, just something to think about how you always got to check because you never know what you will find. Just stopped in this Lowe's, hadn't been in there for a while. Clearance is usually pretty bad in this one, but I did find a couple things. The Stanley Screen and Storm um door catch for screen doors they're 27 cents normally six bucks i believe they were 
on Amazon, 180,000 rank in home improvement, which is pretty good. Um, no FBA offers. Merchants are coming in about $11 and something. So you make about 7 bucks a piece on them, so about $14 profit. Um, if they don't sell for, you know, 11 which I'm pretty sure they will based on past experience, um, I'm still going to make some money on them in the end for at $0.27, cents, so I figured I'd just pick them up. Just got out of St. Francis, and they, <laughs> they price stuff so ridiculous. Like, they have a um, case for My Little Pony for $99. I actually have the same case sitting in my death pile. I paid uh, $4.99 for it, and it's filled with uh, vintage My Little Ponies, and I never dream, would never dream of getting $99 for it. But they just have the case, just the case for $99. Uh, it'll sit there for decades. Um, they don't drop the price on this stuff. They don't move it or anything. There's stuff that I've seen for literally two years in there that's overpriced. They were two um, TI 84 plus calculators in the case, $24.99. I looked on the back. Of course, they had names crashed. One was missing the back cover. No guarantee they'll work. Like, who's who wants to pay $25 for a destroyed calculator that you can't return and you can't, they won't, you know, tell you if it works or not? It's just um, insane. But you know why they call this picking is because you have to pick through the ridiculousness to find the profits. And uh, they had a bunch of shoes up front that were priced like $20, $30 that weren't worth it. You know, just like Nike. They see Nike and they're like, ooh, money. Um, but these were sitting in the back for four ninety nine, the normal shoe price, at least Hoka 1 ones. I uh, looked up the comps on these, sold on eBay. Looking at $40 to $60. Um, I'm going to price these $50 shipped. Um, paid five four ninety nine for them. They are dirty, but they should clean up pretty nice. Then I just got a few books. Like, scanning in there is so annoying with books because I can't get a connection. The one corner... Um, I started scanning, picked up three books, I'll make like three or four dollars on a piece, great ranks, so um, like another ten, twelve bucks I'll pull with the books, but then the, my connection just stopped working, and actually I bought one book that would not scan, because <laughs> I couldn't get a connection, I don't even know if it's actually worth money, it was, uh, I'm pretty sure, you know, I can make five dollars on it, but then again, I wasn't able to check, but um, yeah, let's keep going. Just got out of this awful Goodwill. I cannot believe what has happened in the last two weeks. I have not been here because I went to Alabama. And uh, the prices are the worst I've ever seen. Uh, routers for, you know, the, the garbage routers that are outdated that you can't even give away for five bucks. Uh, they got them priced at like $30. They have loose ones for $24.99 with no power adapters. Uh, there was a generic micro cassette recorder priced at 20 bucks, and the list goes on. Uh, all the routers were they had like a PlayStation, it was like 30 bucks. There's the normal original PlayStation, uh, their games, which were priced at like seven dollars. I don't know what happened, some new price server management, but it's bad. I did find this remote, I had to pay two dollars for it's going to get bundled with a DVD combo I have. That needs one. Um, basically paying $2, I'm going to end up making probably an extra $20 on this combo because of that. So, uh, worth picking that up. Even though it's kind of tore up a little, which I'll have to disclose. I mean, it's still better than no remote. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to keep going. I hope that's not a trend. I know Goodwills are bad in a lot of areas, but I don't want to see, you know, them go down that path. That stuff will never, ever sell. It's just going to get... Um, passed down to the bins and um it just seems it seems ridiculous that a store that's given stuff and supposed to be helping um poor people like literally you can go on amazon and buy that for those routers for <laughs> used um probably 10 15 dollars and you know they weren't 30 bucks for them it's just insane so whoever this is is you know probably a hoarder Unless they're uh, sourcing and this is their one day haul. <laughs> That's just a lot of stuff. Like, <laughs> barely enough room to sit in there. But I just got to have a Goodwill and did not pick up anything. Prices were so much better in this one. Um, back to sanity. So, um, 
Got a couple more to Goodwills to hit. I think we're going to hit a Home Depot and Lowe's. I normally don't hit because it's been a while and I've been doing pretty well in Home Depot. So that's the plan. So I'm at my storage garage now and I picked up a lot of shelves at Home Depot. They were 10 bucks. I bought one because I thought they were 20 normally $25 and paid for it, it was $10, so I went back and grabbed five more, that's all I could fit. So um, I'm gonna organize this stuff that's on the floor that I bought Christmas and Walmart toy clearance and stuff and try to clean up a little in here. And then I'll go home and do a haul video. I'm back home and you know what time it is. It's time to go through this haul. Pretty good haul um, overall. Now some of this was from yesterday when I dropped off a shipment and picked up a few things, stopped in a couple of Goodwills. Um, so we are gonna go ahead and go through this. Um, if you've seen my Alabama haul video, um, you've seen I got some of these in Alabama. And the interesting thing is at this uh, Home Depot I went to, these were priced at $23 on clearance. And I believe these were like 12 or something. So I'm like, man, they were like six bucks in Alabama. So I grabbed one. I took it to somebody. I said, do a price check on this for me, please. And it was um, six dollars. They just did not change the price. And that's something, you know, if you're hunting for stuff, a lot of times these big box stores clearance something and the other stores do too. They just don't change the prices. Their employees aren't as good. Their management's not as good. Or they're just behind for whatever reason and um, asking or looking into stuff can really increase your profits because these are like $12, $15 profit a piece um, and I got I don't know how many one two three four five six so minimum probably $60 and these were about the same the big ones I didn't find any of those in Alabama and the ranks worse on these this, the ranks in the smaller ones are really good but yeah I also picked up these. These I found a lot of these in Alabama. I think like twenty-one of them um, make about eight to ten dollars a piece. As soon as insects come back, they're for um, insect killer replacement bulbs for stingers. Um, sold these before. They should do well. This thing was a little bit unique. A hot laminator, um, brand new. Like laminates just smaller cards and pictures. It was nine ninety-nine. It was $89.99 on Amazon, but the rank was really bad in Office. I think like $800,000. So I looked on eBay and some of them selling new for about $40. Bucks. So um, I don't know. There were no FBA offers, I believe, on Amazon. So I may just send it in just to see if that can get a sell maybe at $79.99 or something. But um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'll make money on that. I might end up keeping it. I can think of reasons to keep it because it seems pretty nice. I know I need to lam uh, Wow, I'm speaking great today. I know I needed laminators in the past, so maybe I should just keep it. This was an absolute great find at Lowe's. Um, these, I think they were like five bucks. They sell for forty-one seventy-seven with a ninety thousand rank in home improvement. Gee, you're looking at at least $20 a piece on them. I got six of them, so um, <laughs> I love finds like that. Just super confident they're going to sell and make you money. Uh, also at Lowe's, you see the uh, lawnmower belt. Uh, this was 5 bucks, normally 35 I think. Uh, I don't know what they sell for on Amazon. I think I remember making about $10. Got four of them. These, I think I sold one a different size. These are the one inch, um, they're foot valves for sump pumps. I found one larger than this for like 62 cents not long ago. Sent it in and it sold super quick. So I bought, I think eight of these. These were $2 and something. And they're priced like 30 bucks on Amazon, a little high. Um, priced and because of that the rank was almost a million in home improvement which isn't I mean you can still sell stuff it has sold there is a, a five-star review on it but I think if this is priced a little bit lower it will generate more sales and I'm gonna make 
anywhere from ten to twenty dollars depending on what price I can get on these so eight of them at tens eighty at twenties like hundred and sixty so uh great finds um I like going into Lowe's and Home Depots that I have not been in in you know a month or two because I can usually find something uh these are at Home Depot. These were like three bucks. There's some sort of wine opener. And they sell for like 50 bucks on eBay. Um, if I remember correctly. It was it was a high amount. 40, 50, 60 dollars. Something in that area. And um, yeah, restricted on Amazon. Can't sell them on there. But um, on eBay, I'm going to go ahead and try to sell them. It looks like they're selling based on the sold, completed and sold uh, filter. So uh, I got some media, um, <laughs> I actually randomly, like I never dig through the cassettes, it's usually a mess, but for, for whatever reason I moved some cassettes and these were under them, um, I'm not sure what these will sell for, I believe 20, 25 bucks on um, Amazon, I didn't even look them up, I just, I just grabbed them because I know Hi8 are great, Panasonic, if these were Sony they'd be um, probably like 40 bucks, but um, since they're Panasonic, they're high eight, 120 minute, they're going to still sell for quite a bit. I just noticed that Goodwill didn't use to have the nicer stickers, which I don't like the nicer stickers. They're harder to get off and they're just larger. But, um, yeah, I just noticed they switched to those. I guess probably all Goodwills will. I picked these up. Um, this is in great condition, Rock Band 4 for the PS4. Uh, I think it was a 10... Five or ten dollars profit. I believe it was five, but a great rank. Uh, paid this one was two dollars. Then there's a sealed Disney Infinity. Um, paid five for this and will make five dollars in the end. Pretty good rank, so it will it should sell. And uh, since it's sealed, I picked it up. I don't like to pick up a lot of used games because they're either scratched, missing manuals, and a lot of times you're spending three or four dollars to make three or four dollars. Um, not that that's bad, but I don't know. It just makes me nervous. And being someone who's been in the video games their whole life, I see a lot of these crappy games and, uh, like the rock bands and other people are selling them for like 20 bucks used. And I guess some of them are worth keeping an eye out. You know, I just so used to seeing the garbage games as a gamer. I just get mad and walk away. But there's also the Beatles rock band. Uh, this was three bucks. I believe this was about five dollars profit in the end. Um, has the manual mint condition. So games like that I'm not going to pass up. And I got this. They had a bunch of Game Boy games. Most of them were garbage, but Zelda was in here. It was three ninety nine for them. Unfortunately, if they're all like a dollar or two, I probably would have got them all. But Zelda, $4 is a great buy. Uh, so we could sell this for $15 on eBay, no problem. Uh, okay, where are we at now? I got some of these Repel here. Now, Home Depot... <laughs> Funny thing is, uh, when I was in Alabama, I was... I can take a long time making decisions. I'm aware of this, because I, I start thinking, and uh, I was with um, Bella from Hello Bella channel, and... I know she was getting annoyed because I kept agonizing on whether or not to buy this mosquito repellent because it was 46 cents a piece and you can bundle them on eBay. You know, you can make maybe a three pack, $10 profit or whatever. And I couldn't, I was trying to research, there's so much going on, I just decided to finally just, ah, I don't need it, I don't need to worry about it, it's easier money out there. Well, when I get back to Ohio, look what I'm buying. So I should have just bought it all because I'm making one listing on eBay, I might as well, you know, do multiple bundles, so... Yeah, I should have bought it all, but whatever. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's like I forget. There's like three or four packs would make me ten dollars. I don't even remember now. But um, picked up this controller. It was a dollar ninety nine. It is a Super Nintendo fake Super Nintendo controller that hooks to the PC. Good for emulation and stuff like that. Box unfortunately has been opened, but the controller is still sealed in there. Um, you're looking at five bucks profit, so. I figured I'd pick it up. Raid um, Roach Baits. These were two dollars. Will easily make four dollars a piece on them, so eight dollars extra when I send in my shipment. That will cover the shipping cost of the shipment. So why wouldn't you pick it up? Got these books here. Um, 
pretty standard books. I don't think any of these are over $10 profit. Um, anywhere from like $3, three to $10, somewhere in there, depending on the book. But this is the one I was talking about earlier that I could not look up because I just could not get a connection. I just gave up and bought it. I forgot, though, that uh, St. Francis charges $1.49 for larger paperbacks, $1 for normal paperbacks, and uh, $2 for hardbacks. So I did end up paying $1.49 for this, and I scanned it, and um, <laughs> I'll double my money. I'll get $3 back, so I paid $1.50, and I'll make $1.50. It's a great rank. It's like new condition. It's going to sell instantly, but I would, probably wouldn't have picked that up if my phone actually scanned, but I'll still make money on it. Uh, this stuff here, uh, we went over. I uh, got this Vegas puzzle, $2 high rank. It's going to be something that uh, probably shipping at Christmas. Puzzles do great. kind of regret buying these. They're just tree and shrub concentrate, but they're $1.90. And they sell for $24.99 to $29.99 on eBay. Hazmat restriction on Amazon. So I figure after shipping, I'm making at least $10, 10 dollars 10 20 30 40 50 for one listing. Um, so that seems worth it. And here is a bunch of these Repel Mosquito Wipes. This is the rest of them. I could have got, you know, double this amount in Alabama as well. I forget, like three or four pack uh, going for $10 profit. So I'll probably make $50, $60, $70, dollars for one listing. So um, I decided that was worth it. So I believe that is everything. Oh, no, I got a couple more things. If you're wondering what these large boxes are, they're bubble wrap. I ordered some bubble wrap on Amazon. But this Reva shelf got it Lowe's. I'll make $20 on this. They're clearancing all their Reva shelf, but most of them, there was some like $79.99 price at $12, bucks, but their rank was like $2, 3000000 in home improvement, and they're bigger and heavier. So I passed on those. But this one was only five bucks, this little door mounting kit. It was selling for 40. I believe that's probably overpriced, but um, still make anywhere from 20 or 30 bucks on that, just depending on how much I actually sell it for. But yeah, that's um, everything. I want to thank you guys for watching. You can follow me on Instagram at flipping underscore junk. And it's been Wick. Till next time.